fellow game makers, I'm going to show you how to create multiple layers for your AI characters. I'm going to use the building editor because that's an easy way to create a structure with multiple layers. But I'm going to keep the structure simple. I'm just going to use a staircase. And I'm going to use a bit of a floor and that's I used page up then in order to get to paint that. Press E to come out. Next thing you want to do is create a floor zone. So let's just drop in a start marker first and then scroll down to the bottom, you'll find floor zone. So we'll put that on our first level. Press P so we can edit these nodes. Essentially, you want to cover the area of interest, the area you want to be able to have your characters run around on. And then the last thing you need to do, press G. So you get a top down view, then press this one, which is create new waypoint. Place it on the terrain floor. Hold down shift, left click, and drag the secondary node up to up the staircase up onto the first floor. So if we look at it from a different angle, you'll actually see. And that connects the terrain sort of layer, sort of the default ground layer, with this nav meshed floor zone, which is now up here. In order to test it, we're going to need an an enemy or an entity. I'm going to use one I prepared earlier, which is my experimental um, import from Fuse Character Creator, which has some really nice animations, which is why I'm using it. And then we press test game. So now we're in our test level, the zombie Caesars. We run up the stairs. And the zombie runs up the stairs as well. We run off. It sort of reverses its path, goes back down the stairs, and follows you down. And if we actually go to debug visuals, you can actually see the cone of sight, which is quite long for this zombie, the hearing zone, the um, destination target, and also the path it takes. Now watch what happens when I go around the staircase. It plots a path around it. And if I go upstairs, watch what happens. So it's plotting a path up here, and same down. There you go. That is how you create AI characters following multiple layers using the building editor to create our first layer. So hopefully this was useful and allows you now to create your own wonderful things. Thanks for listening.